Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. Good morning. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, March 6, 2019. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin. We have a warm weekend ahead, but we also have to deal with some scattered thunderstorms at times, some of which could be strong. We'll get to that in a moment. Taking a look at radar at 655 this morning, much of central Alabama is free from any rainfall, but we already have a few isolated showers forming over the eastern parts of Lee and Russell counties. Those are moving to the east and will be in Georgia shortly. Temperatures at this time were ranging from the lower 50s to the mid 60s across central Alabama. The cool spot was Haleyville at 50 degrees, while the warm spots were Montgomery and Troy at 66 degrees. Birmingham was at 59 degrees. Nothing on the hazards map for central Alabama this morning, but there is a dense fog advisory up for the northeast corner of Mississippi and also for the extreme southern parts of Alabama. The severe weather outlook for today shows nearly all of central Alabama has been placed in a marginal risk for severe storms, mainly for isolated damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and hail up to one inch in diameter. On Sunday, we, we have a slight risk for locations in the northwestern parts of the area, mainly from Hackleburg in Marion County to Vernon in Lamar County and points west. A marginal risk extends out from that to a line from Sneed in Blunt County to Birmingham to Marion in Perry County. And on Monday, all of central Alabama has been placed in a marginal risk for severe storms. Alrighty, now let's take a look at what to expect for your Saturday. We have troughing out in the west with a decent ridge over the southeast that is pushing warm and moist air up from the south, which will lead to instability during the heating of the day. Along with that, we'll have a warm front that will be pushing northward through the area today, with highs topping out in the upper 70s to the lower 80s and dew points in the mid to upper 60s by the late afternoon hours. We have the potential for some scattered thunderstorms to develop with the heating of the day and persist through the evening. A few of these storms have the potential to become strong to marginally severe with isolated damaging winds and quarter size hail as the threats. The window for the potential of strong to severe storms will be from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. for the southern half of the area and from 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. for the northern half. Showers and thunderstorms will remain likely for the overnight hours with lows in the lower to mid 60s. The daytime hours on Sunday look to be dry for much of central Alabama as any isolated to scattered afternoon thunderstorm activity will be limited to the extreme western locations and in the southeastern corner of the area. We'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies with highs reaching the upper 70s to the lower 80s. Sunday night, the troughing moves closer to the state and a low will be stationed over eastern Texas, which will send thunderstorms into the area through the late night and overnight hours. We'll have the potential for strong to severe storms for the western half of the area with isolated damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour as the main threat. Lows will be in the lower to mid 60s. The low creeps even closer to the state, continuing to keep us in an unstable air mass with showers and thunderstorms likely throughout the day on Monday. Once again, some of the storms throughout the day could be strong to marginally severe with isolated damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour being the main threat. Highs will be cooler with the cloud cover and rain only reaching the lower to mid 70s. The low finally makes its way into the southwestern parts of the state on Tuesday, which will keep us continu continuing with the chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms, but at this point no severe weather is expected. Highs will start to rebound and will be back up into the mid to upper 70s. Wednesday will be a sunny and warm day across the area, with afternoon highs topping out in the lower to mid 80s. Much of the day on Thursday will be nice and warm, but an impulse moving through the area could bring a squall line of storms during the evening and overnight hours. At this point, warm air aloft looks to provide a cap on the atmosphere, which may limit that activity. 
we'll have a better idea as we get closer to that day. Highs reach the upper 70s to the mid 80s. Much cooler weather can be expected on Friday with clearing skies. Afternoon highs will only be in the upper 60s to the mid 70s across the area. That is all for your Weather Extreme video for today. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. The next video will be out tomorrow morning produced by Bill Murray. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.